So this is sentence screen fitting, um, leap code number 418. So in your parameters, you're given uh, a sentence, which is really a string array, and you're given a number of rows and a number of columns, and you're supposed to print out the number of times that you can fit this entire string array within this number of rows and columns when you have a space between the words and when you're not breaking up uh, any of the strings in that array. So if you're given the string array hello world with two rows and eight columns or really eight characters, eight spaces within that row, the output is one because you can fit hello in one row and world in the other. You can't fit them both in the same row. You can't split up the string world. So you just print out one. In the next example, you're given a string or array of A, B, C, D, and E. You're given three rows. And in each of those rows, you're given six columns. The output is two because you can fit this array printed twice and having one space between each of these strings. And then the last one, you're given a string array. I had apple pie. You have four rows, columns of five. So in the first row, you can print I and had with one space in between it because that's five characters. Apple is five characters that goes on one row pi space i is also five characters and it fits there and then had you can fit another i right here but we're only counting how many times this array can fit in completely um, so in order to solve this problem this is i just can't um there's a couple of things that we could do so we're going to really do a while loop, um, and it's going to be while we have row, rows left and um, space, which is columns, left in that row. We are going to continue the while loop. Um, we have to have our answer that has to be kept track of, and we'll increment it. If we reach the end of the array and it can fit in a row, um, we're also going to be having uh, an index, which is going to be um, keeping track of where we are within uh, the given sentence array. And we're also going to be keeping track of how many columns are left in a row and that's so we can keep counting how many words. Um, we also have to reset it after it's at the, at the end. And we're gonna have to reset this at the end of a row. So let's see. We're going to be making our while loop down here. First, let's make our answer. Um, say um, our int answer is going to start off at zero. At the end of this method, we're just going to be returning that. So we're going to return that answer at some point. Let's make our index, which is keeping track of where we are within the given sentence array. So we're going to start that off at zero. How many columns left is going to be initially set to the number given to us in this parameter. And let's do our while loop. So while we have rows left, while it's greater than zero, and while our columns left is greater than or equal to zero, we we'll say here, we're going to look at the word that we are on right now. So this is our current word, and it's going to be 
from the sentence array the given index that we're on. Okay, so first let's figure out if this word can fit in this row. So if word point is greater than is you know it's gonna be the word length is less than or equal to the number of columns left we have here. We're going to decrease our columns left. Right? But else. So if it's less than how many columns left we have here, we're going to be handled at. So we're going to say um, let's update the columns left. So we'll say that it's going to be the columns left is going to be what it is, but um, minus this word length. We're going to go move on to the next word after this. And update to move, update to um, move columns left one more because space in between. So we're really moving from right to left here. We're not just keep on adding it. And the, the, this makes it easy for handling the space. So we're just going to say if the columns left is greater than 0, we're just going to minus one more. Okay, so um, if it's not um, less than or equal to the columns left, we're going to just set, reset the columns left to be um, what it is in the beginning, and we are going to decrement our row. So we can say here, if the index is at the sentence length, Our answer is going to be increased and we're going to set our index back to zero because we're going to restart um, counting on that sentence array. And then after that, we should just have to return the answer. So let's run the code. It says cannot symbol O. So that is our second example. Let's see if our first example test case will work. Rows 2 and columns 8. That one is working. Let's check our last one. I had apple pie with four rows and five columns. Oh, with four rows and five columns. Okay, so that is that. And let me just show you the whole answer. I have every line pretty much commented on. So while we have rows left and it's greater than zero and we have comma, columns left, we're taking our word, we're decreasing the columns left minus the word, and then this is for one more space.
and we're going up one more. If there's columns left, else um, we're resetting our columns, decrementing our row, and if our index, if we're at the end of the sentence length, then we're going to increment it one more. So that is that, and all right, thank you.